Airtable versus Monday.com. Which one is the better project management software for you? Today, we're going to be taking a look at both of these project management softwares and which one might be better for you. So let's get started. First off, let's compare their price. Both have different kinds of memberships available. They both have a free plan and also paid programs. Removing the enterprise version, Monday provides us with three basic kinds of paid programs, while Airtable keeps it simple and only has two basic kinds of paid programs. Uh, comparing them on the free program on Airtable, we get unlimited bases, 1200 records per base, 2 gigabytes of attachments per base, and grid, calendar, Kanban, form, and gallery views. Comparing that to Monday's free plan, it allows you unlimited boards, it allows you 200 plus templates, it also allows you over 20 columns, but a limitation on monday.com is that you can only have two team members working on the free plan. So if you're an IT company and you have a larger team on a singular project, you can't assign that to multiple people. And that's a big drawback for Monday, but that's only on the free plan. If you're paying for it, obviously that's a lot easier for you. And also monday.com has an iOS and a Android app so you can manage your projects on the go. Now, I'm going to be creating an account on both of these websites just to show you guys the difference between the both. And if you want to know which one I would recommend, stay tuned till the end. So let's get started. So once you've created your account on both of these project management softwares, you'll be able to see a large and stark difference. Uh, Monday.com is a lot more easier to use. Uh, the learning curve to understand Monday.com is not very much. Once you take a look at their main dashboard, it's not really that hard to understand how things go. So you can group your items, you can add particular task within the item, and then you can have a new group all together. And that's very easy. This is your basic workspace. Over here, you will get your notifications, your inbox. Also over here, you can view apps. And over here, you can integrate other applications to monday.com if you're working on them. However, if we take a look at Airtable's main dashboard, it's a lot easier to get lost in them. And uh, the learning curve for Airtable is difficult because over here, this is your workspace. And within your workspace, you have different kinds of operations within your singular workspace. So you can go to these. And even within one project, you have to move within these tabs. Just like on Google, they have these tabs which you move within, within a singular project. And that can be very easy to get lost in. So that's one of the basic differences if you're just getting started out. However, Airtable is quite ahead of monday.com in, in terms of graphic design. So if you're someone that's into designing, if your project is related to designing, you might want to take a look at Airtable because Airtable provides this application and you can integrate it very easily and it provides you with a 3D space. So if you're making models of planes or buildings or if you have anything that's related to modeling something and you're creating 3d models of that image uh, of that image or product or whatever it might be then you might want to take a look at Airtable and graphic designers will love this because they will be able to create their models and put them in their project management softwares without having to integrate a entire application just to display their models and no kind of functionality of that sort is provided in monday.com so that's a bit disappointing moving on the one thing that monday.com has that airtable lacks is automation so airtable over here if you complete a task if you finish something if you want something to be notified you need alerts you will have to put in those individually and get them and you will have to do the busy work of filling out those forms and all that stuff however on monday.com you can automate your notifications you can get a program completed and that will automatically happen your workflow won't be disturbed and you won't have to worry things have been moved, projects have been completed, if due dates have been met, all of that will be automated once the work arrives and is uploaded. So you won't have to worry about changing a status as you can see here. When the status changes to something, notify someone. So you won't have to worry about alerting someone and if the workflow has been disturbed and if the graphics teams have talked to the sales teams or if the sales people are communicating to the marketing people, monday.com will automate all of it. So that's one thing that monday.com holds over Airtable. And otherwise, if we take a general look at both of them, they're both pretty great. They both 
offer a lot in their free programs and they both have very good visual appeal their color scheming and their overall general aesthetic of both of these dashboards is pretty similar you can see their color scheming is quite the same it's basic white on kind of highlighting colors like greens and yellows and if you take a look at both of their dashboards they're pretty similar uh, they're just white with highlight colors on them so these are the two basic features that differentiate both of these project management softwares so if you're someone that does a if you're a company or a business that's working on graphic design you're working on 3d modeling you need 3d rendered images then Airtable is definitely the space for you but if workflow management if automation if you're a number cruncher and you need things done on due dates you need coordination and your company is quite large then monday.com might be better for you because that is something that's going to be very essential the communication is very essential in a larger team and monday.com will really enable that and help you in not worrying about this kind of stagnancy in your workflow another thing is customer support so on airtable you will have the basic features of emailing if you want customer support there are a bunch of tutorials that are added within your dashboard to help you out in getting started but on monday.com you will get 24 7 customer support via phone or email so if you don't get anything, if there's something you want to know, if you're confused about something, if you can't get started with something, you can contact their customer support at any time. And this is available for all kinds of plans. So you don't need to be paying to get 24 hour customer support. Even if you're using the free version of monday.com, their customer support is great and you can contact them anytime. So the bottom line, what do I really recommend Airtable or Monday? Well, if you're someone that's really into graphics and they are a key and essential part of your project, they're not going anywhere, go for Airtable. It's pretty efficient, but the learning curve is pretty steep. So getting started will take you a lot of time. And that's going to be the biggest hassle with Airtable.com because when you set up something that is this detailed and has this much kind of data that is input in it and everything will need to be entered by you it's going to take a lot of time and effort but once you get a hang of it it'll be as easy as lemon pie so keep that in mind but if you're just starting out and efficiency is key you need to save time you are working a lot and you don't have the time to set up each thing individually go for monday.com it's pretty great if you're not really focused on uh, graphics and 3d rendering then monday.com has everything else that you need it's able to provide you with so many integrations as you can see here there are so many integrations you can have and it will automate a lot of your tasks and that will save you a lot of time so i definitely would recommend go for monday.com but if your work is totally centered around graphics and graphic design go for airtable and that was it for today and i'll catch you guys in the next